Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Franny, and I want to, um, you know, I've got something that's just kind of really getting under my skin lately, and I, I don't, I don't know if you mind if I share, but uh, oh, a little bit about myself. I'm a librarian. I was just putting a few of my books away, reading a few of my favorite books, um, and you know, I talk to many people all around the nation. Uh, I, I'm originally not from Indiana, as you can tell, probably, uh, but I have gained some friendships of other librarians throughout the whole nation, and it's really been an enjoyable experience to be able to com communicate and talk with other librarians about their thoughts, about their families. I've created friendships, and you know, the way we communicate is not it's not the new age way, you know. Some people, actually probably most people, call it the old-fashioned way of communicating and we sit down and we, we write each other letters. Um, you know, back in my day we called it pen pals. Have you ever heard of a pen pal? And no, I mean, it's not a pal that you give pins to. You write a letter to and from that person. You write to that person, they write back to you. It's kind of like a way of now you could send emails or that oh the little thing on the iPhone that text messages um, you know those are all the fancy dancy ways and not really the new age way we like to continue to stick to our guns and stay the old fashioned way <laughs> me and my old friends used to sit there and talk over a cup of tea maybe about how our families are doing and I sit and I write a letter as I have my morning coffee or my morning tea and I ask them um, how their day has been, how their week has been, what's been going on, what are the, some of the new books they've read and all sorts of different topics and things like of that nature. However, something's really been an issue lately and um, like I said, I don't really like to just bust my bubble over over little nonsense things here and there but it's just really under my skin it's just keeps hopping the same old song and dance all the time about my friends and their letters so you see they're not writing them correctly and you might think there's a correct way to write a letter well yeah you know what yes there is a correct way to write a letter and it's called a formal way of writing a friendly letter. And the formal way has different parts to it. The letter, it has like a heading and a closing and a body. And no, I'm not talking parts of the human anatomy, folks. I'm talking about the parts of a letter. I'm sure you are all grown children and know the parts of a friendly letter, but you see, my friends don't, and I'm having a really difficult time communicating with them because it just seems absurd to me that grown women these days in the United States of America or all across the nation are having an unbearable time writing the letter with the correct format. You know, like I said, it just really bursts my bubble when I get a letter and it just says, Hey, Franny, what's going on? And we've got misspelled words and we just start off with hey and we don't we don't start off with dear Franny or we don't have a, the correct date on there or we don't have, you know, a signature at the bottom. Or sometimes I don't even know who my letter is from without looking at the address. It's just absolutely absurd. So I could sit here and I could go to the library and I could find a book, a how-to book of how to write a friendly letter. It'd be plain and simple. Boom, my issue is solved. However, my librarian friends aren't really, I don't know, I mean, you say they're, they're retired librarians. Yes, they do visit the library every now and then, but uh, they won't do that. They just won't. And I don't want to bring offense to them if I bring up this topic by saying, you didn't write it correctly. I don't want to sound like someone I was nagging or a, or a teacher to them. I'm their friend. But, you know, one thing that I kind of came up with, because I like to do a little sing-song, especially when I'm in my library, putting my books away, I like to do a little hum diddly hum a little do-re-mi types of, you know, sing-songy things as I'm putting away my books. It just gives me a little good time in my mind. And one thing I thought for my friends I could bring up to them so it wouldn't be so rude <laughs> is... Uh -huh a little song that reminds them of the correct format for a friendly letter. Would you think that'd be a nice idea for me to bring that up to my friends? 
I do too. I, I really do. So it goes to the tune of um, Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. I'm sure you might be familiar with that song. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. This one is a little bit different and you might be smiling because I was also part of the opera in London. <laughs> Just had to throw that out there. So I have a little background in vocal demonstration. So um, I really get into it a bit, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, so this song goes to head and shoulders, knees and toes, and it talks about the heading, the greeting, the body, the closing, and the signature. And before I sing the song, I want to show you the movements that I use. And some of them are, oh, plain and simple. Others you might have to think about a little bit. So we have the Heading, the greeting, the body, the closing, and the signature. Easy enough, right? Can you guys do that? One more time with me. Heading, greeting, body, closing, touch your toes there, and signature. And you're just acting like you're signing your name. S signing is in cursive. And I know many people veer away from cursive and you're not familiar with cursive yet, and that's completely fine. So we would just put our first and last name on the signature part. Here's my turn. I might be a little rusty. I haven't sang this little ditty in a quite some time, so bear with me, folks. But <clears throat> thinking, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. It goes like this. Ready? <clears throat> Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. We all know that a friendly letter goes. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. Heading is the date, month, and year. Greeting while you're writing too starts with dear. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. We all know that a friendly letter goes. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. A little faster now. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. We all know how a friendly letter goes. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. We all know how a friendly letter goes. Heading, greeting, body, closing, signature. Voila. Do you think you can share that with your friends so they don't make the same mistake that my librarian friends are making? I think I'm going to go off right now, write this down in a letter format, and share this manuscript with my lovely colleagues and friends. Goodbye now. Ta-ta from Franny.